Uh, my name's Brian Jack Holder, and uh, I'm running for the uh, Iowa House District 22 in the special election on June 27th. I'm here at the uh, state capitol in the House of Representatives chamber just to uh, take some pictures for the uh, Forrestall family and for the Republican Party. Uh, I don't know if anyone got some nice photos of, uh, of Greg's desk with the shroud on it and the rose, but I came up here to uh, file my papers and I figured I'd come over here and, and shoot some video and some, uh, some pictures for the family. So uh, I will be on the ballot to uh, run for this office. And uh, my idea is if I was ever elected to this office, I would bring the Republican and Democratic Party candidates to Des Moines with me. I would divide the, the salary in three and the per diem in three. And the three of us would represent everyone in the uh, House District 22. So I think it's, uh, it's past the time that we bring more of us into this conversation. Uh, if you look at the state of New Hampshire, they have a House chamber, a House of Representatives, with 400 representatives. And each representative only represents about 3,300 people. Uh, when the state of Iowa was founded, our representatives only represented about 800 people. Now, uh, these seats, each seat in here, represents a constituency of about uh, 30,000 people. And from my study of history, my study of politics, uh, that's really too much power and authority to, to vest in one person. And I'd like to see these, uh, these House seats in the Iowa House divided. I'm not sure what the appropriate number is, but uh, I think uh, the representatives are under an inordinate amount of, of stress representing that many people. It's, uh, it's got to be a tough job and a tough position, and, and that's why so few people uh, run for the office and apply for the job, just because uh, of all the responsibilities that it entails. Uh, if I was elected also, I would not run for re-election to this House. I would serve next spring for those four months, and then my service uh, to the state of Iowa and the people in Pottawatomie County uh, would be done as far as uh, I'm concerned with uh, this House chamber. So I'm going to be running for Congress again next year, and uh, like I said before, I need to get about uh, 350 or 400 signatures to get on the ballot for the Libertarian Party primary uh, next spring, or I'm sorry, next summer uh, in June. So. I've got until next uh, March to file my paperwork, and I will be out traveling throughout the district, uh, the 3rd Congressional District, uh, meeting with constituents and talking with people. And I will also do that, too, as I campaign over the next few weeks for this Iowa House seat. So if anyone has any questions about me or my campaign, my name is Brian Jack Holder, and my uh, website, Holder for Iowa, is down for maintenance right now. I'll be adding new material to it. Uh, I can be reached at 402-689-1817, and my email address is bjh12572 at gmail.com. So I'd uh, ask all of you just to say a, a prayer for, uh, for Carol Forrestall, for Greg's widow, and for the extended Forrestall family, and, and also pray for the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. and. Uh, and pray for every American. So I think there's enough time to turn this ship of state around and to uh, restore the Constitution and, uh, and restore our rights. So, you know, I love the Iowa flag. Uh, it's a beautiful flag in my opinion. And it says on it, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. Well, I prize every liberty and I'm interested in maintaining every right and restoring those that, that we've lost through the years. So, Thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend.